High on a hillside in North County's unincorporated area west of Interstate 15, you can see new houses springing up on the lots below. They broke ground about two years ago, yeah. Elfin Forest resident J.P. Theberge says the local community agreed to the 700 homes under construction, but developers are now proposing 700 more on land that was supposed to be protected from development. And he says none of the homes will be affordable even to most middle-class families. Some of these projects should have at least 20 percent of their stock of affordable to the median income. Right At the moment, none of them are affordable to the median income. The homes in Harmony Grove Village are selling for between six hundred and nine hundred thousand dollars The developer did not respond to questions about how well they are selling. In the last year, the county has approved slightly more than a thousand new housing permits, but is poised to open the door to 10,000 more in the next three months. Theber says the supervisors are under such pressure to encourage new development, they found a way to circumvent a limit on how many changes they can make to their general plan for growth. State law does limit the amendments to the general plan to four per year. So what they've done is they've come up with a, a, a technique or a tactic, depending on how you call it, uh, where they, they are going to hear multiple general plans at once and that they're going to treat that as one amendment. This is one of the pieces of property that the County Board of Supervisors will be voting on. Developers find it cheaper to buy land like this, which is cheap precisely because it is not zoned for development and then change the zoning. And this is why years of community planning is now being discarded. The builders are ready to step up. It's just a question of whether the county permits it. Gary London is advising the developers who are applying for permission to build in these areas. There's no question that there's an efficiency in building large rancho projects. The problem is today that most developments are smaller because we've run out of land. In fact, the only land that's available, whether it's zoned correctly or not, is in the unincorporated areas. That's why there's so much pressure to try to make some of that land available uh, for development. London says developers cannot get approval even in urban areas that are zoned for development. And he says young families don't want to live in urban apartments. They want single family homes. The greatest need that we have right now are for families that currently live here that are facing this crisis of can I continue to live here and raise a family or should I move out of town? Commissioners, good morning. Thank you for having me. My name is Deborah Rosen. At a recent county planning meeting, Deborah Rosen was one of those who pleaded for more housing. And I have to tell you, I lost my daughter at 25 years old. And I lost her to Idaho. And it was really hard. When she left, I said to her, I will help you with a down payment here in San Diego. She said, Mom, I, I can't afford a mortgage. You can give me a down payment, but I can't afford a mortgage. <laughs> and it's because there's not enough homes for sale here. Well, we have changing needs right now in the county of San Diego, and it's up to our County Board of Supervisors to address those changing needs. London dismisses concerns that the new houses are not affordable. He calls them attainable. He says North County is where new jobs are being created and it's time the county let go of its general plan. Because it was a bad plan. For anyone to suggest that the general plan is a bad plan is denying 10 years of diligence and thoughtful consideration that went into designing and developing the plan. And there was consensus amongst all the stakeholders that it we are creating the housing that we needed and that we were creating the transportation infrastructure that we needed. Nicole Capretz is with San Diego's Climate Action Campaign. Yeah. She says sustainable planning encourages infill development and transit like the rapid bus service up Interstate 15, not giving wholesale approval to developments in far-flung parts of the county, generating longer commutes. Not only is it troubling that the county is considering major sprawl projects to add housing where it's not supposed to go, but it's even more troubling that the county is abusing its power and undermining their own process that they set in place to ensure that there was thoughtful consideration of any amendments to their general plan. They're throwing that out the window and just accelerating the adoption of these sprawl projects. The Harmony Grove projects are just the first of seven major amendments to the general plan supervisors are poised to approve this summer. Theber says if they really want to address the shortage of affordable housing, they should require some affordable housing in return for granting the waivers. So the idea is if you're going to give away sound planning and, and, and kind of throw the whole process 
away, basically, because that's what this is. 10,000 houses is basically saying we don't care about the general plan anymore. Let's just randomly build as much as we can everywhere and anywhere at all costs. Then you need to at least secure something from the developers on that. The supervisors will consider more than 5,000 new homes in North County and more than 4,000 in Otay Mesa. So far, the supervisors have not required that any of these new houses be affordable, even for most middle-class San Diegans. Alison St. John, KPBS News.